I am at the Dream Hotel in Miami, South Beach, Florida to take a look at the hotel room here so you can know exactly what to expect. This is the hallway as I am walking towards my hotel room and the architecture from the outside carries over onto the inside. My only complaint about the hallway so far is that it's a little dim. We're on the third floor, room 352. There are some things I liked about this hotel, others I did not. This is one of the things I did not like. When you walk into the hotel, you walk into the bathroom. To the left is the sink and the commode area. And we're gonna walk over to the right in a minute and you'll see the shower. But generally, I don't like walking into the bathroom in my hotel. Those of you familiar with Miami know that it's a preeminent beach resort area known for the Art Deco. And one of the things that I do like about this hotel is that there's plenty of Art Deco design, not only in the hallway, but throughout the entire room. If you are renting this hotel room for the Art Deco design and unique features, then you are gonna be very satisfied. However, if you like a hotel room that's far more functional, then you're gonna be in for a surprise because this hotel room, in my opinion, is small and it doesn't have any storage space to speak of. What you're looking at right now is the most storage you'll ever find in this hotel room, which isn't much. We are, of course, right now in the shower area. And as you can see, one of the big things about this entrance area is gonna be the tile work. The knobs, the fixtures, the shower head all have very unique design. One of the things that I couldn't get used to is how dim it was in this area. In fact, the entire room was dim. So it was the hallway and most of the hotel. It was kind of dark and gloomy, not very bright, and it made it look and seem smaller. Now we're moving into the heart of the hotel and this is the main area. As you can see, it's a tight area. There's not a lot of space in between the bed. This is a queen size bed and it's a very tight room. If you're thinking about staying here, uh, the two things you're gonna be paying for is number one, access to the beach. It's about 50 yards away from the beach, so you're not gonna find many hotels that are closer. And also, it is really in the center of what's happening in South Beach. So it's very well located. However, you're not necessarily gonna get a large room. As you look around the room right here, you can see it's a tight space. One of the things I always like to answer is whether or not staying here is worth your money. Now, if you know you like the design of the hotel, when it, the Art Deco, and I do a complete rundown of the entire hotel on my channel, so if you're interested in that, take a look. But just for the room, it's a tight space, but it does give you a nice feel. This right here is the door that separates the entrance from the rest of the room, and that's the bathroom area that I was talking about earlier. But it doesn't have a lot of space. What it does have, it has a great uh, Art Deco design. Not a lot of uh, you know plugs and modern features that you would expect in hotel rooms. This right here is the only two USB ports that are on this clock. But there's not a lot of outlet. I love the convenience, the decor, and the style, but in my opinion, it's just not worth it. The thing I dislike the most about this hotel is the complete lack of storage. This right here was where I was for an entire week and I hate living out of my suitcases, but that's what I was had to resort to doing because there was no drawers where I could put my stuff. The two drawers you saw, that was for my wife, but for me, I lived out of my suitcase, so that's a big miss. Now, as I said earlier, I completely go through this hotel, and this is actually the same hotel. This is the lower area, what you just saw with the rooftop terrace. It's absolutely beautiful. Explore the entire hotel on my channel.